Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Master Division with various wins for the Rewind 2023 tournament here in Gold Clash the game. You're going to see a mix of the Sierra Plateau, Shifang Basin and uh, the East Lake Golf Club. Before we take a closer look at all the videos, we I do want you to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy the video. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. For those of you that do want to elevate your game even more, scan the QR code here on the screen or go directly to patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy via the link in the description down below to sign up for our premium guides for either checkpoint challenge, tour play or tournament play. Follow the info box on the right hand side here on the screen to get the club distance adjustment, elevation adjustment, also a ball and club type I suggest you to play with. Have in mind though that those are all suggestions and you don't have to follow it if you don't want to, but there's always a plan behind it. On hole one, we start with a power four ball in NMT. Then we're swapping to a luminary or any other ball that do have power five, side spin two, and wind three. Now, this is going to be the more neutral angle. This is going to be the yellow arrow, which is the center of the one, which is the straight crosswind version. You will notice that as well on the plus yardage when you pull your rings. Five top spin, two left spin. And now we're going to use here with one ball of left curl. Using one ball of left curl will make this shot single great left safe and you can hit great right. A great right will take you to a wedge. A single great left will still be, I mean, it probably will be close to unhole in one. What you need to have in mind though is that if you do want to push for unhole in one, you go with one and a half ball of left curl. You can watch the video for that as well that will get you close to hole but it also will make a great left go into the bunker so it's up to you to see what risk you want to take sure go for the hole in one with the risk of hitting a great left obviously with a perfect ball it's not an automatic hole in one so it's up to you to decide what you want to do get our guide on patreon.com slash golf clash tommy for pro expert and master For hole number four, we're going to play a Guardian play, this to allow for the most possible consistent first bounce. We are looking to add the spins to start with, using all the backspin and half a bar of left spin. Now, bottom of the red ring, just off the bunker, second bounce just behind the cup. And you will see that here in just a bit. Adjustment that we're going to use is 96% slider plus 30% elevation P3 numbers. Obviously in the guide, we do have a full VPR table for you to follow. Wind angle tweaks based off obviously wind angle and wind strength. And then we are going to do our best to get this ball to go into the hole. This is by far the toughest of the two par threes. And um, this will require full attention, full focus to drop this one consistently. Perfect it is. You see it bounces on the fairway, past the pin and rolls into the hole for a lovely hole in one. Scan the QR code here on the screen or use the link in the On the dry, we start with a QB and P1 ball in NMT. All the top spin with quarterback, which is five top spin and two left spin. Then we're swapping to a pock and sniper bag. Um, adjust max plus 20 P0, one to one with a pock eight. And then we're gonna go a circle a drop over power in the end. We're looking to get close to the rough, but this, I mean, I just wanted to specify this because it looks closer than what it actually is. You can see here that the ball rolls down the fairway and when it comes here to the end, it do trail right. So it's actually, um, even though it looks very close, it is not as close as it looks because it trails right and there is a couple of yards left to play there. However though, if you do want to play with a P2 or P3 ball, you can always reduce the top spin slightly, like do 4.9 top spin instead of the five top spin and allow for a little bit more room. P1 ball, we recommend to keep the top spin because otherwise there is a risk that you are a little bit short on the approach. For the second shot here in hole number three, we're going to go with um, four top spin. 
you can see here now that I'm moving slowly up towards the four mark. Obviously, you don't have to do that slow. I'm looking to have the yellow rain to be by the rough line, ball guideline to go just through the hole. As the drive is very consistent, the ball guideline will be approximately one green square through the hole all the time with the yellow ring by the rough line. But if you happen to be completely off with the ball guideline, don't be afraid of re-spinning. It's more important to keep the landing spot because it's from there we're judging the wind angle as well on the approach. Now, we're going to play 100% slider, so max club, uh, minus 15% elevation, P1 numbers. And that is from plus three and plus four. This is the no tweak angle. So we're just gonna center the ball and hit perfect. And you can see we clipped rough nicely and it rolls down towards the pin and it looks like it's gonna drop short, but it always has good speed hitting dead center for the albatross here in hole number three. For hole number four, we start with a mauling like we did in the qualifying round. We're gonna go one left spin, and we're gonna go 5.8 top spin. The reason I'm starting with a mauling here, even though it's headwind, is to avoid pulling down into the bunker. So if you start with a P1 ball, for an example, we're going to pull down into the bunker all the time. And that's going to be a mess. Now we want to keep ourselves on the flat surface uh, to ensure that everything becomes accurate when it comes to doing the tweaks and with the adjustment. Ball guideline through the holes are very simple in that way. 1 to 1 plus 0 0.4 pull angle, as you can see on the picture. I'm looking for it to flick three times to the left and three times to the right and to have it as straight as possible. But you judge to what it is for you. This is the yellow angle, which is the no tweak angle. Perfect ball it is. Bounce into the rough and it rolls up on towards the green. What we do recommend is to play with a P2 plus ball. I mean, you can play with a P1 ball as well many of the times, but there is a headwind angle where a P1 ball in a high wind might pull you into max clubs. So to be on the absolute safe side, play with a P2 plus ball. Get our guide on patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy for pro, expert and master. On the drive here in hole number eight, this is a super tough wind. I kind of forgot when looking at the flyover that this was going to be this difficult, actually. So I had to be innovative and I'm using the left hand side to do seven top spin, two right spin, setting up with QB at max P0, blue ring by the rough line, swapping to a puck and cat bag. And we are adjusting max plus 20 P0 using 0 0.8 ball of right curl max OP with a slightly shaky needle with P1 ball, but with P2 plus, it's gonna be uh, completely slow. So it's up to you to decide what you wanna do. I wanted to create this type of drive so we could play it with P1 at least, because I, uh, I know a lot of people do have a P1 ball. 353 yards, that's perfect. Looking to be around 355. And then now you need to be prepared for a sand bump. And that, that's not often we do that on a par four. On the second shot, we are going to do a bottom yellow pin shake is what we're going to do with the cat 7 and cat 8 going to be slight overlap for cat 5 and cat 6. We are going to use 5.8 topspin looking to have it being just by the edge of the bunker ball guideline through the hole. And here is the beauty with cat 5 and cat 6, even though the ball guideline is crap, it's still going to go through the hole so you can still use the same type of reference. This is an angle where we're going to do nothing. We are pulling from the white ring and what we're pulling is that we're using 100% slider, which is max P2 number. And that is from plus two and plus three uh, when it comes to the bottom yellow ring pin check. Perfect ball it is. And it goes into the bunker, rolls up nicely and dropping dead center for the eagle here in hole number eight with a very tough wind. On the drive here on hole number three, we're going to start at the top of 
plus a P3. So we're gonna start max P3 line. The video is a replay glitch, that's why it shows a plus 11, but should say plus 16. Once we have found the spot with the bullseye just into the rough line, we swap to a POC and B52 bag. From here now, you can switch to a P2 ball if you would like, because you will go from plus 16 with the rock to plus 8 with your apocalypse. 7 top spin, 3 left spin, and we are going to go max curl to the left with a um, slower needle. Adjust is max plus 5 P3 numbers. You can see here now that we're bouncing on the fairway over to the next fairway and from here we're gonna have a nice B52 to pin. Have in mind though that a great left will most likely clip the rough with your second bounce and roll out to approx 380 yards but we do have a reference from there as well for those that are unlucky hitting a great left. A bad great right will still hit the rough with the first bounce but will most likely go into the rough on the right. From there it's an easy save, unfortunately we do not have any reference for there for that. On the second shot we're gonna do a rough line check. The rough is where the rough meets the fairway and this is with ball guideline going over the pin. Four backspin and now we're going to leave the ball guideline just into the hole. For those having B52 level 6, have in mind that you don't have the fully developed ball guideline and need to leave it slightly shorter than what you can see here on the video. Now adjust from the plus 4 and plus 5 mark is going to be 42% slider with a 5% elevation P3 numbers adding or subtracting 0.1 for every 2 yards. What needs to be said as well though is for those playing with B52 7 and 8 can actually play 1 to 1 from plus 4 and plus 5 because that would be the same adjustment. Perfect ball it is, bounces nicely on the fairway dead center for an albatross here in hole number three. Make sure to check out the backup option or the rescue option if you do manage to hit a great left on your drive because that could be good to have in mind if you mess it up. Get our guide on patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy. On hole seven we start with the rock and p5 all in and mt all the back spin and one left spin adjust with the rock nines one to one plus a 0 0.8 is what we're gonna use them we're gonna write out the standard adjust when it comes for rock level um level eight as well because you can play this to show with rock level eight adjustment is done we're gonna go full curl to the left and we're gonna bounce on the fairway and we're gonna land nicely before the rough and the sand. They're not flirting with the rough because there is no need. And then you may be thinking, why I, am I not going to green? It's because we do have a wedge with a straight tailwind and also bouncing over that bunker is gonna require uh, to land on a perfect place to be able to actually have a shot for the hole in one. So I'm somewhat judging this to be like tougher and hole in one, even though we do have a tailwind and therefore I do lay up for a very simple wedge. On the second shot, we're gonna play a wedge, standard EB school, and we're gonna play plus 10% elevation P5 numbers. We're not gonna play with any top spin, it's gonna be a no spin play all the time uh, because we uh, do want to, um, or like not we want, it's because if we're using top spin, we're gonna have to bounce on that upslope and that's gonna be super inconsistent. Now you can see here that we do have more or less a direct tailwind and this is gonna give a wedge like this, especially with Endbringer, a lot of room in terms of hitting single grates on either side that will then drop. Perfect ball it is and you can see we bounce on the fairway, sorry on the green, right at pin for a safe and nice eagle. Get our guide for Expert and Master Division and the Tour Championship in Golf Clash on patreon.com slash golfclash. Tommy, scan the QR code uh, or use the link in the description down below. On hole number seven, we're gonna do a very fun play in my opinion. We are going to do a rough bomb, but it doesn't look like it. We start with a, P a P0 ball, uh, aligning the second bounce with pin. So we are looking at the second bounce to be at the same line as where the pin stands, uh, being before spin. Then we are setting one right spin and 1.8 top spin. And what you can do here is actually set this with a marlin that will allow you to set the position and the spins very easy. After that you can swap to 
um, any uh, win five ball that you may have. Adjust is one to one plus one point eight. And I understand that adjusting from such a high view is going to be a bit difficult to be accurate. But no matter what though, a great ball left or right is going to be safe. And the idea here is to clip the first rough, roll down like we do, dead center for the hole in one. NNT with a P4 ball using two left spin and two and a half bar top spin. Once we have done that, we are going to go uh, max plus 20 P0, which is one to one with a poke eight. And then we're gonna go max overpower with a slow needle. You can play with a P3 ball here as well. The needle will be slightly shaky, but it's still going to be a very makeable one as we will adjust to a very low plus yardage or even outside plus yardage in some angles. We want to have the dead bounces like this and uh, put ourselves at the top right corner around 405 to 410 yards. On the second shot, we are going to set four backspin and one left spin. We are looking to be having the second bounce to be just over the fringe, where the fringe meets the green, and ball guideline to point left of the cup. So you can see here now that, that I'm wiggling around a little bit now, the replay doesn't really show everything exact, but you can see the ball guideline there perfectly. You can also see that ring reference is that we do have the half of the red ring inside the rough. We are not using that ring uh, reference uh, because it's hard to find half of it. So here we want to focus on the second bounce and the tip of the ball guideline. This is the red angle. We are going to make an adjustment that is 92% slider plus 5% elevation P4 numbers. And that is from plus four and plus five. Here I'm using one click of right curl as you know, my in thought was that this was going to need uh, some right curl, but it's not. So we're going to play this one as a uh, center ball. And we're dropping this one nicely for an um, Albatros. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this playthrough with various wins here for the Rewind 2023 tournament here in Gold Clash the game. Join us in 2024 with our ultimate tournament guides, the best guides on the market for expert and master division. Obviously we do have guides for all the game modes when it comes to tour play and checkpoint challenge as well. Scan the QR code or use the link in the description down below and go to patreon.com slash goldclashtommy and sign up today.